Hello Internet, so nice to see you. One of the things I hear most from my students is my hands are too small, what can I do about it? I, I can't play those super stretchy scales or super stretchy chords uh, because my hands are too small. Well, I'm gonna say something that will make many of you uh, close this video and go away, but that's the way it is. Your hands are probably not too small. Let me prove that to you. My hands, specifically, are not particularly big. In fact, in most, most of my local students, even girls, have hands bigger than mine. Now, to give you some actual objective frame of reference, we can measure them. My middle finger from a nail to the center of the joint is around 4 inches. My pinky from nail to middle of the joint is barely three inches and a quarter and my palm is around three inches wide so not particularly big hands and that said i know personally a few great players whose hands are much smaller even than mine i mean they're missing like half an inch on every finger respect to me so those are really small hands and they can play chords that I cannot play because their stretching technique is better. So what can we do to make your stretching technique better so even with small hands you can finger those complex chords or scales? It's all a matter of technique. Let's say you want to play a stretchy scale and let's say we are on the sixth string and you want to play five, seven, nine. Most players who cannot play this will do it this way. They'll put their index finger on fret number five and they put their thumb just behind that. Then they will stretch the middle finger to reach the seventh fret and then of course the pinky will never get there. See, in this situation my pinky doesn't even get the sixth string. It's natural, of course, to conclude that my hands are too small, but again, this is just because my technique right now is wrong. The problem, specifically, is in the position of the thumb behind. Even worse, some people will put their thumb on top of the neck, put the index finger on the fifth fret, and now not even the middle finger gets to the seventh fret. Again, this is a problem of technique, not on how large your hands are. So what is the correct technique? Let's put your hand in the right position. First thing, rather than starting with your index finger, start with your middle finger on fret number 7 and put your thumb just behind it. And behind, I mean not above the neck, but literally opposite on the other side of the neck, like you are pinching something. From here, put your pinky on fret number 7, adjust your hand a bit, make sure your elbow is relaxed, your wrist is relaxed, and then from this position, you stretch your index finger back. At this point, you see, my hand can easily cover the stretch from 5 to 9. In fact, with this technique, I can cover a couple more frets. So recapping, the wrong way is to put your thumb opposite your index and then trying to stretch or putting your thumb on top of the neck and trying to stretch. The right way is to have your thumb just behind your middle finger and then stretch your hand in both directions. One incredibly important point here is to make sure that your wrist is relaxed. So don't get here, force the bend on your wrist and then do the stretch. Instead, put your finger on the strings and then pretend that your your wrist is hanging from your fingers and just relax it and let it fall down until it finds a relaxed position. The end position, if you force it up or you relax it down, it's the same. So from outside, you don't see any difference. If I do this or if I do this, it looks exactly the same. The difference is that if I'm hanging from my fingers and pretending, of course, to hang from my fingers and relax my wrist, there is no tension in my wrist. Instead, if I come here and then I bend my wrist, those tendons here are pulling up my hand. And this is a problem because with those tendons pulling, my hands cannot move. So 
there is a difference in feeling and definitely a different intention. I explained this technique on skates, but you can use the exact same technique to play very stretchy chords. This chord is open, two, four, six, four, open, from sixth string to first string. If you put your thumb just behind the middle finger, then you can stretch your pinky and your index in opposite direction and you will be able to do it with a little bit of practice. This is not an easy chord. You may or may not be able to play this immediately, but if you practice the right technique of putting your thumb behind your middle finger, eventually you will be able to, because the rest is just reinforcing the muscles that stretch your fingers. You do have much more stretch than you think if you put down your hand on the guitar in the correct position. Now, with all these, of course, there are physical differences between people. Some people have larger hands, some people have smaller hands, but so far in my career, even people with the smaller hands can play those chords if they use the correct technique and they spend some time stretching their fingers. If this video helped you in any way, click on the like button or smash on it, I will not hold it against you. If you like this channel, subscribe to it and make sure you click on notification so that YouTube will tell you whenever I put on a new video. I'm Tommaso Zilio from MusicTheoryForGuitar.com and until next time, enjoy. So, if now, the, my, my palm is, and my palm, my hands hard, uh, hard, hard.